Hello and welcome to Ollie's Weekly Web Digest, a show which Googles everything on your behalf because why not? It's boring, isn't it, Googling? Let's get on with it, shall we? Earlier in the week, this Cheeto sold on eBay for almost $100,000. Well, at least I think it did. It's hard to know what's real in this post-truth world we live in. The reason given for such a high bid is that the Cheeto in question looks like Second Amendment victim and meme Harambi. Harambi was a gorilla who was quite literally shot to fame. A four-year-old child at Cincinnati Zoo managed to crawl into his enclosure back in May 2016, and fearing for the child's life, Harambi was shot with a rifle. The story resonated with the world, with many calling for the child's parents to be held responsible for Harambi's death. But it wasn't long before the internet came along and created its own digital tributes. It started off very amicably, tributes highlighting that all life on Earth should be respected. But then all kinds of bellends jumped on the Harambi bandwagon, all in the name of notoriety. Hey, dicks out for Harambe. And this Cheeto is just another example of how people can get carried away with a meme. And that makes this the second most stupid orange thing in America. What with the impending apocalypse and all that, most of us are having trouble sleeping. So how do you like the sound of a robotic pillow which can take advantage of your biological makeup and coax you into a deep, relaxing sleep? Yeah, so it may look like you're sleeping with a giant red tip tampon, but this pillow is in fact supposed to be able to cure insomnia. Whoa, but how? Well, according to these chaps, who look like they've just finished work as extras on the new series of humans, the Somnox gathers data. Lots of data. Oh great, another device in my house that's going to be monitoring my behaviour, and this time right in the heart of my most personal and private space. Wicked! That's right, this evolution in soft robotics, which if I'm honest I always thought was code for autonomous sex toys, claims to monitor your breathing so that it can regulate it, creating a bespoke treatment which aims to send you off into a deep, relaxing sleep. Although it's not available to buy just yet, but don't worry, I find that their promotional video they've got on their website is just as effective. Wikipedia, an infinite void of time-destroying links, has banned the Daily Mail as a reputable source. That's right, perhaps the best news since hearing the news of the world was out of business, hate-filled toilet paper and waste of ink the Daily Mail has officially been banned as a reliable source after Wikipedia overlords came to the conclusion that it was in fact a load of old bollocks. I'm not quite sure if that's a real quote, but what I do know is that the word real is something that the Daily Mail and the Mail Online really, really, really don't get. The paper has been criticised over the years in particular for falsely reporting scientific studies, all in the name of sensational headlines. But most recently, the paper dragged up tax avoidance stories about Gary Lineker after the presenter stood up for Syrian refugees entering the UK. <laughs> Seems fair enough, doesn't it, having a dig at a chap that's trying to stand up for millions of people fleeing war and persecution? The irony of Lineker's criticism was completely lost on the mail. Their very own controlling shareholder, Jonathan Harmsworth, 4th Viscount Rotherman, which is a stupid name, is a chronic tax avoider. With a net worth of 1.37 billion, he has non-dom status in the UK, meaning he pays as much tax as a baboon. Say it's Russell Brand to speak to Lord Rothermere. Say it's about uh, living here and taxes. And according to Wiki, the Viscount's own Latin motto is Bene qui seduno. Not sure I said that right. That means he who acts diligently acts well. And I think that is absolutely right. Something that the Daily Mail could do well to take on board. <laughs> That's it for this week. I'll leave you with this. Bye. Thanks very much for watching, please do subscribe to my channel, all you've got to do is click on my stupid bloody face there. If you've got any suggestions for stories, please leave them in the comments below, and uh, that's about it. Thanks very much, bye!